Welcome back, everybody, and welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today, we're shining a light on a tropical favorite, Pachystachys, commonly known as lollipop plant or golden shrimp plant. Pachystachys is native to the tropical regions of Central and South America, particularly Peru and Brazil. The name Pachystachys comes from the Greek words Pachys, meaning thick, and stachys, meaning spike, which aptly describes the plant's dense, flower bearing spikes. The most commonly cultivated species, Pachystachys lutea, which is this one also known as golden shrimp plant, was introduced to horticulture in the 19th century and quickly became popular for its striking appearance and ease of cultivation in warm climates. The plant is commonly referred to as lollipop plant or golden shrimp plant due to its vibrant yellow bracts that resemble either lollipops or shrimp, depending on who you ask. Pachystachys lutea is an evergreen shrub that typically grows to about 3 to 5 feet tall in its native habitat, though it often remains smaller when grown indoors or in containers. The plant is characterized by its bright yellow tubular bracts, which can be mistaken for flowers, but actually serve as protective structures around the plant's true flowers. The real flowers are small, white, and emerge from the bracts, though they are often overlooked due to the prominence of the yellow bracts. The leaves of the golden shrimp plant are dark green, glossy, and elliptical, providing a lush backdrop to the vivid spikes. The bracts can last for several weeks, and under ideal conditions, the plant may bloom year-round. Pachystachys thrives in warm, humid conditions that mimic its tropical origins. It prefers well-drained, fertile soil with slightly acidic to neutral pH, ideally between 6.0 and 7.0. The plant does best in bright, indirect light, though it can tolerate some direct morning sun. In lower light conditions, the plant may become leggy and produce fewer flowers, so placing it in a well-lit area is key to maintaining its vibrant appearance. In USDA hardiness zones 10 to 11, Pachystachys can be grown outdoors year-round, where it will flourish in garden beds or as part of a mixed border. In cooler climates, it's best grown in containers that can be brought indoors during the winter months. When grown indoors, maintaining high humidity levels is important. Regular misting or placing the plant on a humidity tray can help achieve this. Watering should be consistent, keeping the soil evenly moist but not waterlogged. The plant benefits from regular feeding during the growing season with a balanced, water-soluble fertilizer applied every two to four weeks. Pruning is recommended to keep the plant bushy and to encourage more blooms. In the garden, Pachystachys can be paired with other tropical plants that enjoy similar growing conditions. Consider planting it alongside caladiums and begonias, which share the same preference for bright light and high humidity. These companions can provide a colorful contrast with the vibrant foliage. For a more dramatic effect, pair Pachystachys with larger tropicals such as banana plants or elephant ears, which can add height and structure to the garden while highlighting the compact upright spikes of the golden shrimp plant. In container arrangements, Pachystachys can be combined with trailing plants like ivy or creeping jenny to soften the edges around the pot. Pachystachys is a versatile plant that could be used in a variety of settings. Beyond its ornamental uses, Pachystachys is also valued for its ease of care. Its relatively low maintenance requirements and adaptability to indoor conditions make it a great choice for both novice and experienced gardeners looking to add a splash of color to their plant collection. That's it for our exploration of Pachystachys, the vibrant lollipop plant or golden shrimp plant depending on who you ask. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for more plant insights. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.